October 12th, 2024, I was about to ask, why does it smell like manure? Why does it smell like a feedlot on my jog? And the destruction of the few native plants that we have left has ensued. And the moronic citizens that live here will be posting their photos celebrating it. Fenced into the creek first. Fenced into the creek. The only place that we have any native plants at all left. First stop. First stop. First stop. You guys stink. Goats are cool and all, but uh, this isn't supposed to smell like a f***ing feedlot. Look what they're doing. I just filmed this morning that in ungrazed areas, by natural process, the vegetation is starting to lay down. This is trampled and torn up, but it's still here. See, you idiots who feel better because this is slightly shorter than it was are case in point of why you are idiots. And the only thing that really happens is that the trees providing shade and cover with their foliage get stripped bare. And in time, some of the problem gets consumed. This is a handout to animal agriculture, period. Not only are they fattening these animals, who do indeed inevitably get slaughtered or get left behind when they die out in the field from eating too much ripped up brome. Look at that, just bare. And look, look what else the goats do. I can't be bothered. Can't be bothered with the fire fuel climbing up into the lower branches that they just turned into actual kindling. Hey, six years I've been filming this bullshit. Absolutely nothing's changed. And the only place that any, any improvements have taken place is where they don't do this. I mean, if you can't refute what I just said, that the only place any improvements have taken place is where they don't goat graze. Then how are we continuing to have this conversation? Your counter argument is to throw out a propaganda lie and say, oh yes it has. None of you look, none of you look. There are no, there's no documentation. No one comes out here to study it. Unbelievable, look at this. How? Unbelievable. Fucking smells like hell. Trampling the seeds of the invasive plants into the soil while dumping off uh, their fertilizer and bringing in the seeds of the last place. So, so much for the guard dogs, you know. It's just a lonely animal. I mean, that's all it is. It's a lonely animal. It's not a f guard dog. Just stop. Invasive plant seeds trampled into the soil, followed by the fertilizer of the invasive hooved animals, making sure that they are successful when the rains arrive shortly. There they are. Forget the weeds on the ground. Get as high as you can and destroy the trees. And here the ignorant, of course, obese, I mean, who isn't, uh, people saying that it's a good thing. Yes, just because these goats eat the same way that you do, it doesn't make it good. Look, this woman's actually posting live. You can tell that she's talking. She's so proud that she's witnessing the destruction of the native oak trees. <laughs> In the meantime, the uh, <clears throat> guard dog is still with us. <sighs> How do you not laugh? How do you not look at this and laugh? And these things that look like stones, nope, that's all goat shit. But this is what they supposedly got rid of. 
when I tell you in video after video after video that for the most part they just make it look different and reseat it, this is what I'm talking about. Don't don't live there in denial land and pretend that I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm showing it to you. I just had to pull the uh, guard dog out of the way so that the bikers didn't run him over. And speaking of, uh, oh, where is where is the supervisor? I ask this in all my videos. You people want to talk, pretend like this is some sort of highly supervised shit. You can't even get the exploited migrant workers to be present. The guy doesn't have any idea where his own dog is, much less where the goats are or what the goats are doing. As if, as if anything would change. The only thing that happens is that a fence gets set up, the animals destroy everything in their path, and at some point the fence comes down. They recently uh, tried to market this in a new and admittedly creative way, but I'm so accustomed to the lies of animal agriculture that uh, I was like, oh yeah, right. So they're like, oh, these people have brought their culture and their knowledge of uh, goat herding with them. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lie from the beginning. And even if they had any knowledge or skill or something special to bring with them, it's moot because the exact same thing happens every single time. Fences go up, the animals destroy everything in their path, and then the fences come down. Where the city tells them to go. In fact, the city actually comes in and sets the fences up for them half the time. They don't even set the fences up. And the city has decided where the grazing will or won't take place. It has nothing to do with whether or not uh, Bolivians or Peruvians, etc., uh, brought their knowledge with them. Nothing. But listen, people aren't smart, and they're very gullible. So saying something like that works. But you will notice, what, what, we got to take a look at the sign. Something that changed in the last uh, few years was that they actually removed the part that says it's good for the habitat. <coughs> Don't worry, I have the footage. <laughs> they can only hide so much. Uh, but they at least removed that lie. Now they're just calling it general vegetation management, which means kill things that are native and green and fire resistant and reseed the problem. <sighs> How are the goats that you're guarding doing? <sighs> I thought I heard something. I had my noise canceling headphones in while I was recording that, listening to music so that I could have a thought. Hey, what is, is, is that an electric leaf floor? This is what we call progress. This is, this is our improvement from the gas-powered ones that, by the way, ran all week here, only to have some f hole decide that wasn't enough. And he's got to f***ing noise pollute the area on Sunday because of his dedication to the concrete in his yard. I guarantee it's a shitty-ass, disgusting concrete yard. What? What? Listen to that sound. That's what we call progress? Oh, don't worry everyone, it's not gas powered. Everything's solved. Fuck's sakes. The creek's being eaten by livestock and the human is uh, waging his war against dust, maybe some leaves if there are in fact even any in there. And this is, this is what <laughs> the human race has considered the, the correct path. No wonder we're effed, absolutely effed. Come on, you two. Enough. Still see the branches swaying around behind the truck like Tyrannosaurus Rex is coming through there. No, that's just what it looks like when the beneficial animal is here. You guys need to run over in your battle here. Oh, it's one of the grumpy bikers. It's one of the... Well, let me continue with my jog and we'll see how far uh, the animal that's protecting, protecting the goats comes with us.
Did you come from Bolivia also? Did you bring your Peruvian goat protecting culture with you? <laughs> I'm sure you speak as much English as the guys working here. So you see this. You see the state of these plants. And you see the shit on the ground. So the lie that I'm sure a lot of you were telling that the goats hadn't done this area yet. Uh, well, that's just been destroyed. This is what it looks like when they're done. Some of it's still standing. Most of it's just laying down. Please go watch the morning video where I showed you the progress of the areas that they don't goat graze. And why, right, why, why is there another fence line here? I don't, the sun is in a terrible position, so I'm sure it's hard for you to see. Well, they also mow. So the money is being spent mowing within X distance of these houses. I wonder if people complained about the smell of the manure. Not that uh, those feet would solve that problem. <laughs> but in any case, I bring that up because they tell the lie that uh, it saves money because the goats are cheaper than hiring humans. But you have the human labor and you have the goats. So you didn't save a damn thing. They just find new ways to waste money. God damn. Is that really an electric leaf floor? I mean, that's rivaling the noise level of a gas powered one. And yes, I have my headphones back in trying to think and it's cutting right through them. This is what civilization is. Turning an actual urban area into a feedlot with noise pollution. Here we go. Let's read the lies on the sign. <laughs> this, must, this is one of the older signs. Go, goats are grazing on a variety of invasive and non-native plants. Nope. I uh, just filmed them eating exclusively. Not a single one of them was eating uh, an invasive plant. These non-natives outgrow and compete native plants. Yes, thanks to the goats. <laughs> Removing invasive plants restores the natural ecosystem. Wow, this is definitely one of the older signs with the original lies. Oh, native wildlife. <laughs> no one who gives a shit about native wildlife lets livestock eat their home. <sighs> so, here's the next excuse. It's typically a multi-year vegetation management activity. This management technique will reduce the amount of invasive non-native plants over time. See, now that seems like there must be some truth in there somewhere. Oh, well, you know, maybe someday we'll see progress. I've personally been documenting the exact opposite of what they're claiming for six years. And I often ask in my other videos, when are you going to draw a line and say, okay, we should see some progress at this point? And it doesn't, it doesn't ever happen. But as long as people are dumb and accepting, they're going to do this for the next hundred years while things continue to get worse right in front of your face because of the excuse that it's a multi-year uh, activity. Goats will browse leaves. Here's the uh, little safety comment. Goats will browse the leaves and branches of trees within reach there, but this will not harm the trees. According to the people that are destroying the native habitat, there's not a problem. Look, you can tell that this isn't where the goats grazed and it's where the humans worked because there's actually vegetation still left on the green items that are here. <laughs> that should tell you everything. The only place that anything somewhat green or healthy remains is where the goats weren't. Let's continue with the lies. Um, a herder is always present to tend to the animal's needs. Nope, he's not there. Uh, the water is being provided by the creek, which will be empty by the time the livestock drink it all. And uh, let's see, where's where do they talk about the dog? Where, where are the lies about the dog? Anyway, uh, we saw what the dog does. About as uh, effective as the herder himself. By the way, the sign here, the sign called him the herder. Sometimes I get worried about being... Uh, called uh, or called out by woke culture for calling him a goat herder but that's what uh that's what the employer is calling them 
I talk about the dog on this side? Huh. Also, interestingly enough, where they mowed actually looks better. There's a couple of uh, green things remaining, and they actually got rid of more. Well, they didn't get rid of any of it. It's just laying on the ground. But it's actually shorter here and looks like more was accomplished where the humans mowed than inside of where the goats uh, grazed. Hey, there is not a single bit of evidence here that uh, works in favor of the goat grazing argument. You see my dog hiding in the shade. Today's supposed to be a cool day. Uh, no, it's horrible. It's uncomfortable. Uh, we've got to jog back home because of that thing that doesn't exist, uh, you know, climate change. <laughs> and, you know, the best way to uh, combat climate change is to chop down the trees in your yard, which is what most of the morons here have been doing. Uh, and, uh, you know, burn down forests. How many millions of dollars did California spend chopping down what few forests we have left? And, of course, run, run leaf blowers uh, night and day, seven days a week, because leaves are the problem. Look at the shit. Don't fucking tell me that the goats weren't just here and failing miserably. You know, in the, when the human walking path has this much shit on it, you can only imagine how much shit is out there. I head home. Let's take a look at the human priorities. I filmed this over on the other side this morning, how they uh, prioritize removing uh, native trees, even if they haven't fallen. Uh, and it's bad enough that they remove trees that have fallen, but if they haven't fallen, then they'll come through and chop them down. There we go. More people thrilled to death by the goats destroying habitat how's your nap going inside there buddy yes i know i look the dog's wet the dog managed to get into the creek another topic and i know it's too much for this video is that the only water the only water in the creek is the overflow of recycled watering from the shockingly wasteful irrigation in this same city. You see this one plant standing? Uh, that's the uh, yellow flower tar weed that the goats don't like, which is turning into a monoculture of the only native plant remaining. Some people are going to try and say that that's a good thing. No, <laughs> it's an accident. There's one plant that might not even supposed to be in this area, but because the goats won't eat that, it's going to end up being the only native plant remaining. Look at them. Look at the prioritization. Look at the stripping of the leaves that provide shade and food for native animals. You know, these same assholes that live here are the ones that post on uh, uh, social media about seeing a coyote. Well, now the coyotes can't hide. They're pretty good about hiding. It's a miracle that any coyotes still live here, but uh, pretty hard to hide when you bring in livestock that like a plague remove the foliage that would have hidden them. Oh yes, let's hear everybody complimenting the uh, invasive animals destroying the habitat. This is, this is the beginning of brainwashing at a very, very young age. Like those kids probably think that goats are native animals. I mean, it's as close to seeing wildlife as it gets on the planet now. That's sad. Hello, good job protecting those goats. Mmm, that sapling, 
That tender sapling sure is yummy, isn't it? Yeah, how about eating the uh, rip gut brome right next to you? No, I don't blame you. I wouldn't either. Now we've got a fence line right here cutting across the creek. Notice again that the area the goats are fenced into is the creek itself. Now on this side, you still have some reeds, some native uh, plants, some vegetation for the native wildlife. Remember the sign said that this is beneficial to the native wildlife. Now look at what the goats did to the habitat over here. There's fucking nothing, nothing, nothing. And that's what's about to happen here. It's what happens everywhere that they go. They are a goddamn four-legged locust numbering in the five to 600 range. And they are insatiable. They are insatiable. They act, they act like they're starving 24 hours a day. It's too hot. These goats distracted me and I got out in the sun. I've been following the shade carefully. Let's get back over to uh, the plants that humans do care about. Uh, the non-native ones and indeed invasive species chosen to be decorative that are given so much water on a daily basis that it constantly floods into the street to the extent that it actually has managed this year to put water in the nearby creek. Yep, when it comes to these plants, people, the grass and these things, these worthless, non-beneficial plants, we have endless resources to spend. When it comes to actually helping nature, suddenly the only thing we know how to do is feed it to the livestock industry. Not only do they fatten their animals up, you pay them to do it. You are paying them to destroy habitat. And they've convinced you so successfully that you're actually cheering for it. If you're still listening, listen to this part. It might be one of the most important parts. Because some of you are saying, if you're so sure about this, why haven't you contacted the authorities? Good question. The problem with your argument is that I have. Many times over many years. And it ends with the same results each time. They pretend like they're going to help. They pretend that they're going to be transparent. They claim that they have all the data. They claim that they have studies showing that it, there's progress and that it works. They say they're going to share it with me. They say they're willing to show me the budget involved. They're going to put me in charge with all the people that observe the program. And I know it's hard for you to believe this, but I'm polite. I'm actually acting under aliases. So I uh, adopt the personality of a polite person. Uh, the sound of human intelligence. Love it. You're right up there with the leaf blower. And every single year, they just disappear. And not only do they disappear, but when I come back with a new alias, after that, new people are in those positions. High turnover for people running programs that require expertise, that require actual ecological knowledge in order to do it correctly. These people are position fillers. And the first responses that come out of all of them are the PR friendly ones. Oh, thank you so much. We're glad you're interested in our goat program. And it goes from there to absolute crickets. Absolute crickets. What's my point? The data doesn't exist. Not once ever in six years have I seen anyone resembling a foreman or a scientist or a person that might be concerned about whether or not the program is actually working. Not once. I barely even see the exploited laborers. I barely even see them. Much less somebody in charge and overseeing the whole thing. It's all bullshit. And it's able to keep going on because you decided 
when you first heard about it that it made sense. That's it. Be honest with yourselves. The only reason that you're supporting this is because you're like, oh, yeah, goats can get to places that machines can't. Oh, and because they look like an animal such as a deer, they must be doing it in a good way. No, no, they aren't wildlife. We invented them. We created them. <laughs> they don't act like wildlife at all. <sighs> People, you don't know what you're talking about until you're willing to accept that. How can there ever be progress? I didn't know what I was talking about. I have six years of undeniable proof. What do you have? Your desire to continue to think that you didn't buy into a lie? That's all you have. <laughs>